Today was the first day of school for a number of tri-state districts, including New Richmond. Students there are going to notice some immediate changes. A tough new drug policy for anyone participating in sports or clubs. Nine on your side's Tamika Artis has the reason behind the change. School officials say that this policy is about keeping kids safe and not punishing them. And only about half of the students here at the high school would actually be subject to these random drug tests. Students in New Richmond returned to school bright and early this morning with a renewed commitment to staying drug and alcohol free. I don't think it's a bad idea. This week, the board approved a new policy that will allow random drug testing for some 300 high school students. Athletes, students involved in extracurriculars, students who have a parking permit, and any student who wants to volunteer for the program. Superintendent Adam Bird says the goal is to give students another reason to just say no, especially under peer pressure. Even though we tell them not to to do drugs, their parents tell them not to do drugs, their church tells them not to do drugs, they continue to use them. He says there would be no academic consequences for testing positive, but certain school privileges could be revoked. So far, the plan is getting strong support from parents and many students alike. Doesn't really bother me personally, but some of my classmates are just like, I think it's kind of stupid, we don't really need it. I think that's a very good idea, obviously. Um, Keeps our kids on their toes, keeps them, you know, gives them an incentive not to do the drugs. New Richmond joins a list of about 70 other districts in the state of Ohio that are already doing this. The cost per school year, about $3,000. In New Richmond, I'm Tamika Artist, nine on your side.